Hi, this is the second video in the playlist where we're looking at the excellent Pearson Edexcel Mathematics Revision Workbook and Guide. This happens to be the workbook. There is an accompanying guide that goes with this. And it's absolutely full of different questions which are graded and also based on the kind of questions you're going to get at GCSE. So the plan really is to start working through this book from page one. And at the moment, this video, we're going to look at question number two from factors and primes. Okay, I will write the question into the description below. Please do have a look at that if you want to follow it word for word, or you can follow the link through to the Pearson website and have a look at some of the materials there. They also have an app as well. The app is really good. It's going to give you plenty of practice. Okay, so question number two is a bit of a wordy question. What it says is that n is a number. OK, so that's one of the things we know about n. n is a number. Also, 100 is the LCM of uh, 20 and n. OK, and what we're being asked to do is to find two values for n. All right, so one of the things that um, I guess you need to really appreciate with LCM is that 20 must be a factor of 100. It must divide into 100. So therefore it follows that n must also need to divide into 100. So there's two values of n that we could use. Um, n could be equal to 25 because 25 will divide into 100. Absolutely no problems at all. Okay, or n could be equal to 50 because also 50 could divide in, no problems at all. So actually, even though the question itself is really quite tricky to kind of understand, um, once you read it through, once you appreciate that these numbers have to be factors of 100, you just simply figure out that n could be 25, or it could be 50. Hope that's been okay for you. If you're not sure about anything, please do add a comment below. Uh, I'll always come back to you. I'll have a look at the other playlist within the channel where we've got quite a few more examples of working with highest common factor and lowest common multiple LCMs. Okay, I look forward to seeing you in video number three on this particular playlist where we're going to look at question number three of the Pearson Guide. I look forward to seeing you very soon.